The Gigantoraptor is a real game changer to Ark. With a lot under the hood, it needs a thorough guide to tell you everything you need to know. So don't forget to like, subscribe, share around and let's get into it. Finding the big bird is simple enough. Found guarding its nest in one of many different locations spread across the majority of the map. Though it's reported to only find one at a time in single player, searching for one on a server though should encounter at least 10 on the map at any one time. Encountering a tameable wild should be presented with a large looking bird's nest, representative of the same colours as the parent, but not always the offspring you'll be taming, which can be found mutated, just like any other wild dino baby. The wooing taming mechanic is initiated by first distracting the parents, luring it away from the nest with some tasty fertilized eggs. Most furt eggs should work, right down to tiny spotted dodo eggs, but be mindful that the smaller the egg, the quicker it'll be eaten before the Gigantoraptor turns back to check its nest. On one times taming rates, dodo eggs offer about 10 seconds, with naturally larger eggs like Giga and Kaka eggs giving around 70 seconds, during which you'll need to sneak around and interact with the nest to hide inside, allowing the baby to wander over and play a game of copycat, with you needing to repeat the same action it offers to guarantee some taming progress. With one of three choices, it's a straightforward affair before the tiny fluffy dude wanders off and returns for another round. In my test, it seemed I could only get two of these in before the adult would return, and with Bronto eggs offering around 60 seconds gives enough time for both. Following which, you'll want to exit the nest and move to a safe, sneaky location and repeat the process. Be mindful though not to startle the baby either or you'll find that loving taming bar reset to zero. You can currently trap the adult or distract with another player, though I'd place a solid bet this may be patched in the near future. And on one times taming rates, a 120 gives 3.5% per successful interaction, and with effectiveness dropping with each, perfect taming a 150 wild seems to be impossible. But anyway, once successful, you'll then want to get your baby home to raise, feeding it raw meat and imprinting until it becomes adult, allowing you to make it saddle at level 69. Though, can be obtained for some cheeky ascendant upgrades through red drops if you're lucky. Just a wee bit smaller than an aloe, the Gigantoraptor moves hell to leather, able to jump at a whim and flap away to pull into a glide, much like a terror bird. Offering two attacks, its light bite attack allows you to harvest meat and hide, and its much heavier damage dealing stomp attack, harvesting wood, thatch and berries, especially in the bucket load. Sadly, unable to equip a weapon whilst riding, it makes up for it with a unique raw ability, able to ping any wild baby creatures within the area and realising a new reason to tame. After killing any wild parent and making sure not to hit the baby and startle it in the process will reward you to imprint the baby straight off the back of the big bird, but instead of normally claiming on foot will reward you with the bonus taming levels you'd get from regular taming, making it worthwhile for wild babies alone, but sadly doesn't allow you to tame wild baby gigantoraptors. Worth noting though, you must be riding a Gigantoraptor you've raised yourself or else the next step you'll be unable to action and you really want to. Pouched into the saddle via the radial wheel will grant you a hunting mini game with your imprinted creatures choosing specific targets to hunt and kill with cooldowns between each and must be a certain level wild or over depending on how high your creature is being raised. Depending on your taming rates after the desired amount of prey hunted will reward you with full bonding, as well as 30% imprint bonus. But what does bonding do? 
Once in the know, it'll become apparent it's worthwhile running the same bonding minigame with any tamed baby dinos back at base. Though imprinted on foot, still allowing you to pop in the saddle and hunt to reach your bonding bonus. Though your big bird will need to be at the same level or higher as the babies you plan to bond. So for official players especially, may need to work on those Giganto Raptor level mutations to meet your boss Rex breeds. But not your Gigas or Kaka breeds, they just don't fit. So yes, means you can breed Giganto Raptors together and clone if you've got the element for it and you may want a lot of Giganto Raptors because the bonding bonus once achieved grants a flat 10% damage resistance called Adopted Love, but can upgrade to a stacked 5% attack damage, which we'll explain later. You can choose to drop any bonded creatures should you prefer the space for another and anything in its saddle can be auto-fed from the mama bird acting just like a trough. Its same bird call for finding wild babies also allows you to change the imprint requested should you not have that requirement spare, though can only be changed once per imprint. And finally, walks are back in favour, allowing you to clear the imprint simply by riding the Gigantoraptor and pretending they walked themselves. Besides a secret new menu option when clicking on a fur egg in its inventory, allowing it to be placed within the saddle and incubate until it's ready to hatch, which you can do on the fly and go straight into the bonding hunt. Its last and best ability is to produce feathers. With one feather plucked every 24 hours, each grants a percentage chance on inheriting the best stat from bred parents, with a random chance on being one of the main six stats, yes, including oxygen, and varied percentages based on what Gigantoraptor it's plucked from. A 225, for example, can grant anywhere between 60 to 61.5, with the cap of 75% chance feathers needed to be plucked from some absurd levels most will unlikely ever see. Using a feather is as simple as popping in the mother and awaiting the mating process to finish, consuming the feather and offering a higher chance to carry over the stats you want to your offspring. Feathers don't stack, only one feather allowed per mating ritual, and dads can't consume them if you hoped to double down. And sadly, as much as I really hoped it might be a godsend for, don't work on gestating dinos awaiting to pop out a rhino nather. So, bonding, how strong is it? To kick off, you'll notice a meter, much like a car car to notify you of its parental strength and improved by how well your adopted offspring behave. Initial success for bonding grants some levels as well as leveling your bonded creatures, but its most effective method is by allowing your bonded tames to kill as much as they can, not only capping your Gigantoraptor to alloparental fury with a whopping 50% damage as well as 10% movement speed and 25% experience increase the number on your meter, but at cap will grant your bonded creatures with a 5% percent attack damage adopted rage murder with the 10 percent resistance stacking with a 33 percent mate boost a 30 percent imprinted rider boost and throwing a UT for a cheeky 20 percent on top create some unstoppable killing machines but how unstoppable are they let's put it to the test whilst this has got the allo pair rental fury with its damage increase that's pushing on an extra 5% damage on these as well. Of course, we've got crazy saddles as well, but it is only two Rexes, and we've got the UT buff out of courtesy of the uh, beautiful assistant. So, without further ado, and we are getting hit for nothing. It'll be good if my Rex was coming. Oh my God, we're, we're getting hit for nothing with that damage increase on top as well. Ooh. This is insane! The Gigantoraptor is totally worth getting. Wow. Oh, he's totally going down. Oh. 
Oh, mate! Oh, there he is! Here it is! Ah! Down! Well, there we go! I think it's safe to say the Giganta Raptor is definitely worth having in your squads. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Hope it's been informative. Until the next one, my name's Ross Clark. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, up! Uh, peace out! Uh!